Hi, everybody. I am back with you. So, you remember I was telling you that, you know, I finished the china cabinet. Um, I finished the table. But between the getaway that my husband and I does and um, starting another piece of uh, another project that I wanted to do for a while but didn't do and I want to make it included and make it be a part of the living room is this office piece of furniture. So I am going to show you what it looks like now. Now remember I had shown you the piece and I told you it was a piece of office furniture and one of the reasons why I like it, it has a lot of storage. So I send the piece. Remember, I'm going to insert a picture where I show you that I encased the legs with um, small pieces of wood. But then I changed my mind because I'm entitled to. So what I'm going to do is I figure all of this open space, once I enclose the leg, I could make a draw. So that's why all of this wood is sitting here and it looks like a junkyard. <laughs> this is a dining room. But I'm going to get it all together. I went by Home Depot because everything that I've been working so far with is scrap, scrap wood. I go to Lowe's or Home Depot and I ask them for their scrap and they give it to me. So I went into Lowe's um, Thursday and I met this wonderful young man. His name is Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Um, and there was a piece of plywood that they had cut, but I guess the customer didn't want it. So that ended up being scrap. It's a whole sheet of plywood that, um, I was given. And I'm saying again, I'm giving a shout out to Lucas. Thank you so much. See you around town. And yesterday I went back and purchased this piece. So this is the only piece I've purchased so far. And Lucas cut it for me. And what I'm going to do, I already, this is scrap wood right here. I already, let me show you what I've been up to. See this piece right here? It was scrap wood that I got from Home Depot. I added two pieces onto it, one here and one here. And this is how I'm going to make the shelf in closing this. Yeah, <laughs> that. And I have all of the pieces cut to put the shelf together. So what I'm going to do is try and put it together. But my mind, let me tell you, let me tell you, I want to put the piece together, but I got something else on my brain, right? Listen, I have some stuff that I purchased. It's this frame to take back to home goods. And honestly, that's why it's taking me so long to finish this stuff. My mind is to go to home goods right now. I don't feel like finishing this, but you know, I think I'm going to start. You know, I think I'm going to start. Uh, 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 uh. I need to steal them people's stores. So, what I'm going to do is, I already see right here. Wait, 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 wait. I see right here where the lighter piece of wood is. I have a um, a garbage, a bag on the floor to protect the floor. And you see how I sand the piece and they started painting it already, but then I stopped. And you see this lighter piece of wood right here? Look, right, right here. Already added for the frame for this. 
and this is how I'm going to encase it. But I also had these two pieces here cut that I am going to put right here. And this is going to be extra reinforcement for what I'm doing. So, I think I should stay home and do what I got to do. My brain is like, let's go outside. So, I'm going to put this together and then I'll come back to you. If I don't go to the store. I am back. So, I had... um. Two more pieces cut, two more pieces of the wood cut, and I am going to add them. What happened is, I had this piece that I cut to make the framing for the drawer. So what I do to one side, I have to do it to the other side, but I need an extra piece and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to add that in. So I'm back. I am done re-encasing the legs. And what I ultimately want to do is to build this drawer. This is the casing that the drawer is going to sit on. And this... Um, there's another piece that's the rail. And this right here is this piece here going to be the face of the drawer. This whole piece right here. So that is what I am doing. So I'm going to go ahead and see how much I could get done and then come back and show you. Right, so what I'm doing now is I think the camera is too far away. Come and stop the camera for me. So I am back and I brought you in closer because we need to get to know each other. And I put on, you know, some glasses that I had on earlier today because I don't want no splinters to get in my eyes, already squinting as, as it is. So, I use these two paint cans, two small paint cans as level, plus my handy dandy Dollar Tree leveler. Tell me that this piece here is level. So, I am going to go ahead and and that's the L piece that I told you that I made that I shown you earlier. I am framing out. I had to stop and think because I'm putting the under piece under or over. See, honestly, I have never done anything like this. <laughs> I just have an idea and I have an idea that I can put it together that's why I miss my brothers <laughs> because if I have any idea they will put it together for me you know but they're not around so I have to do it myself and my husband he told me that why don't you just throw the piece away and buy something new how oh, did he tell me that I feel like I could do this and, um, you know, I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could, you know, put this whole thing together. Because he told me, he said, I'm a lawyer. If you need me to do some paperwork or defend you, I could. <laughs> but this right here, just go buy a new piece. And I'm like, no, this has so much lovely storage. And I'm going to show you after. But I'm going to go ahead and drill this piece in and then see what to do and what to that and whoop to do and whoop to up. So, I'll get back to you. So, I'm back. 
and I'm still working on this. So what I'm doing now, right? So we um, cut the, um, we made a leg. You see how it has a little dip, like a little waistline? And then we put a piece to go back here for the, um, I'm saying we, I did all of that. All we do is the cut in because my shoulder is not that strong since the accident. And I did the encasing of this. As you see, what is done here is done over there. And I miss my brothers because my brothers would have helped me do this. Oh, I miss my brothers. And I don't want to save it so when they come to do it because I need it done now. So... I, like I told you, this was a whole sheet, like big as this and long. I went in Lowe's and Lucas, the guy that cuts the wood, they had a piece and he was like, you can have it. And I'm like, but it can't fit in an old car, Oh, an SUV. So he cut it down for me and I got the wrong measurement. He got it right, but I got it wrong. So, what happened was, this is the piece that I had him cut. But, again, me and my bag cut. I had William cut this piece here, but it cannot fit the corner. It has to be shaved off a little bit. See? It has to be shaved off. And... I have the other piece to build the front of the drawer and all of that. So, I figure this is why I wanted this. Even though I have other storage in the china cabinet, I figure I could put mats on there here, like have everything to be, con you know, like everything for the core of the dining room be in the dining room. And I could put like all my placemats on the hair and coasters. And then in here, let me lift you back. In here, I could put um, plates and stuff. See? Or even like decor things. And then in here, it's a long drawer. I could put most stuff. And here's another drawer that I could put napkin rings and anything else I want to put in there. Maybe the kids, you know, when they get on your nerve, just pull them up. Six feet tall, pull them up and put them in here. Like I'm calling William and he's not coming. Because he figured he helped me enough. And this is the back piece for it. So also, I will have to cut another piece. I will have to cut another piece to go with this. But when I had the proper measurement and I went into Lowe's, it's not Home Depot, damn you Home Depot, it's Lowe's. And I, when I had the proper measurement, Lucas cut the piece for the front of it for me. So this is it for now. I'm tired. <laughs> So, I don't want to, I mean, they're still up. I could continue working. But I will have to go outside to cut the wood. And I just moved in the neighborhood, right? And it's a really quiet neighborhood where, you know, a lot of, um, not a lot of people, but, you know, people live there. And I don't want to be, you know, the noisy neighbor of the neighborhood. So, I will stop for the night. And let me show you. Once I get this in here. Girl, I think I cut this wrong too. Oh, no. 
This wasn't cut wrong. Oh, I thought I got it wrong. I would just sit here and cry. So, I will continue this tomorrow. Like I told you, that is what I want to use it for. And I'm thinking... I am thinking oh I know what I have to do I'm sorry I was just thinking um I had these on I'm in the house I have these on so splinters don't get in my eyes and because the season change I'm here I wear hats. For a second, I forget what I was telling you. <laughs> I wear hats. Well, you know what? Not because the season changed. I wear hats winter, summer, fall. I have all different types of hats. I just love a hat, girl. So, you know what? You want to see the same clothes. Because I'm not going to go ahead and make the rest of the noise and wake up the rest of the neighborhood. I will go ahead and do a haul, because I have a haul for you, boo-boo. Yes, love, I got a haul for you. So I will come back, because the video cut off on me the last time. You like my sweatsuit? I will come back, okay? <laughs> So I will come back. This is V and this is the time by V and all the mess she can make and mess she can't make that she don't know that she making mess. But when she finish, it better come out right because I'm going to cry if it don't come out right. Wham, wham, baby. So that's what I am up to. Bye, bye, loves. Let me see if I can reach up there. <laughs>